Hi, my name is Kishore and this is Moving Images. Over the past year, I've been making video essays on Tamil films and you guys have shown your tremendous support, which has made me make a bold move and expand our horizons to another exciting and worthy film industry in God's own country, Kerala. This is a new attempt for me and I'm hoping to get the same welcome and support from you Moving Images fans. Ini enda madatang Malayalam. Enda state Kerala. Enda chief minister EK Nayara. Enda beedi Malabar beedi. Enda nadam jandai. Enda nadam kadagile. Takki takki timi takki takki timi Malayalam. Don't worry. There are still years worth of materials I want to talk about in Tamil films, but this is simply a change of pace. So without much further ado here is the nuances behind Mayesh and Pradikaram The film is about a simple man named Mahesh who runs a photo studio in a small town named Prakash City in Idukki district He lives with his father and loves his childhood sweetheart Soumya Next to his studio is a flexboard printing shop owned by Mahesh's friend Baby Through a series of funny events that starts with a banana leads to baby becoming involved in a trivial argument with a loafer in the center of the town noticing the commotion mahesh tries to calm everyone down but instead gets beaten up by jimson embarrassed mahesh vows to never wear his slippers again till he exacts revenge on jimson thus starts mahesh's journey towards revenge the simple tale has a lot of heart to it and the funny incidents makes this revenge a sweet one to watch Now what makes this film endearing is the nuances the director Dilish Pothan captures in celluloid. The film is not about Mahesh alone. It is about this entire small town. Gypsy. Crispy. Ah, uh, crispy. Le crispy, crispy. Dilish adds layers of realism by concentrating on the nuances of the town's people in every scene. Such details only pulls us in deeper into the environment. We have seen these people in our daily lives. we might be even one of the people shown on screen it is funny to note that the series of events that ends up with mahesh calming the fight that gets him beaten starts with mahesh walking away without trying to calm another fight this shows how the entire town is connected and how one small event affects them all dilish treats the town prakash as a character in this film The film is about how a nuanced character named Prakash influences the protagonist Mahesh's nuance. Mahesh's journey of self-discovery actually tells us more about the society we live in. To explain how, let's turn to the concept of the panopticon. The panopticon is an idea originally created by philosopher Jeremy Bentham. It's a prison where a single guard in a tower can watch all the inmates at once. The prisoners can't tell if they are being watched, so they must always be on their best behavior. Postmodern theorist Michel Foucault explains that this is a perfect metaphor for how society controls its citizens. We never know when our actions might get us punished, and hence we try to follow the rules even when there is no one enforcing them. We even internalize those rules and systems, so we don't even know if we are acting because of our beliefs or because of that systemic control and fear of punishment. Prakash is Mahesh's panopticon. Before the incident at the town center, Mahesh is a regular member of the community who followed the rules. He ran a photo studio since his father owned it. He isn't a photographer, but rather someone who takes photo with the same technique every time. Chin up, shoulder down, chin down, chin body up. I saw pan. Ready. He is even corrected by his father to not call the studio as just a store. Kadaila studio. He stays away from trouble and rarely fights back. Hence, the scene where he gets beaten up is significant. Mahesh, after receiving the first blow, stays down until instigated by Baby and the townspeople surrounding him. It is Prakash that makes Mahesh stay down after the first blow, and it is the same town that makes him get back up and get beaten again. He is controlled by Prakash.
The vow of revenge Mahesh takes is the first step of him breaking away from Prakash or more precisely societal pressure and going on a journey of self-discovery. This is shown later when Baby tells him only a few towns people know about his vow to not wear slippers and asks him to go ahead and wear them. But Mahesh refuses saying it is personal. By not wearing slippers, Mahesh is defying a society of slipper wearers. But Prakash is not done with Mahesh just yet. The following day after the event at the town center, Mahesh realizes that Saumya has decided to end her relationship with Mahesh and marry another guy. Mahesh decides to forget about her and move on. But Prakash tries to make Mahesh confront Saumya again. In this scene, we see one of the town's people ask Mahesh for a ride to a church for a wedding. And when Mahesh inquires about the wedding, the guy says it's Saumya's and later glances sideways at Mahesh to check his reaction. Now, the whole town knows about Mahesh being in love with Saumya and this could be an attempt by the townsman to make Mahesh react to Saumya betraying him. But Mahesh makes peace with Saumya by smiling at her and also with himself by crying his heart out. Mahesh's revenge is a path of self-betterment. He enrolls in martial arts classes to make sure he can fight back Jimson the next time they meet. His pride takes a second hit at the hands of Jimsy, who asks Mahesh for a magazine cover shoot and berates Mahesh for giving her Chin up. Shoulder down. Chin down. Chin body cap. Body cute. Ah, eyes open. Ready. This too leads to Mahesh bettering himself rather than letting the incident go. He learns how to be a photographer from his father who has always had a perspective that doesn't conform with society's popular ideas. He takes a photo of her which lands as a cover for a magazine. This leads to them getting close to each other and Mahesh falling in love again. And in many ways, Jimsy is the right other half for the new person Mahesh is becoming. Jimsy too, like Mahesh, does not conform herself to societal norms. Unlike Saumya who caved into pressure and decided to marry a guy her parents preferred instead of fighting for Mahesh. She paints her footwear and dances in a flash mob on the streets of a conservative town, grabbing both the town's and Mahesh's attention. But Prakash throws a screwball at Mahesh again by making him learn that Jimsy is Jimson's sister. Societal norms dictate that a man cannot have a feud with his brother-in-law. This clouds Mahesh's judgment as he tries to turn for answers to its religion, another proponent of popular ideas, but decides against it and pursues his revenge. He calls baby to inform him that he is going to get back at Jimson the next day and this time no one in the town needs to know about it. The whole idea behind the film is Mahesh defying the society and popular ideas. They say revenge is destructive. Mahesh betters himself as a person. They say forgiveness is better than revenge. Mahesh chooses to forgive through revenge. This is seen by him placing his hand on Jimson's shoulder after Mahesh wins the fight. He has gotten even with Jensen and through the act of revenge has forgiven him and now they can proceed to become brothers in law. The story of Mahesh's revenge is a look at our society and especially social media and how it destroys nuances. We do not act like ourselves since everything we do lives on the internet forever and is subject to scrutiny and judgment by the society. The Panopticon Society questions how we deal with our public lives being saved online and how we treat past mistakes. Prakash here is a character and a scaled down version of our society and through its nuanced citizens and funny incidents teaches how, how to find our own nuance. Until next time, this is Kishore signing off saying <laughs> Hey Moving Images fans, thank you for watching that video. This is my first Malayalam film video essay and I'm very excited to know what you guys think about it. I have two announcements to make. 
one, I'm going to have a Q&A session in my Facebook page. So go ahead and comment all the questions that you have about this video or about any other videos I've made in the past year or just about anything that you would like to ask me. I'll select some of the questions and try to answer that in my Facebook page. The second announcement is that I'm going to start blogging in Medium. And to kick it off, I'm going to have all the scripts of my episodes so far available in Medium. Links are there in the description. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.